Now the first step is to rename the save game folder. Now when you rename the save game folder, all the save game progress will be lost. So create a backup first. Now for this, open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the roaming folder. Over here you can see Sega folder, open this folder. Here you can see the game folder. So you can select the game folder and paste it to the desktop. Just create a backup. Once uh, you have a backup created over here, now you can rename these folder. You have to start everything from scratch. So in my case, there is a demo. If you don't have demo, you can ignore it. Whichever uh, game folder you have, just rename it. Once you rename it, now go to Steam. Make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off Steam Cloud. And then now you can launch the game. Now once the game is up and running, you can enable the Steam Cloud again and replace your old save with the new one just created. So once uh, you are able to launch the game, you can you can enable the Steam Cloud and you can put the save, go, save game folder or the old save game folder back to the location and then you can continue. Now still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card over here and then select your operating system. Click on find. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the latest DG Force Game Read driver. Click on View, and then click on Download. Once the download is complete, you can run this .exe file. When you run this .exe file, click on Yes to allow, and then click on Agree and Continue. Select Custom option over here. Click on Next, and then put a check on the box which says Perform a clean installation. Then click on Next. After the clean installation is done, restart your computer, and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to next step is to try DX12 or DX11 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, go to properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. Make a right click once again. This time you can type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this for the next step. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game. Select prop manage browse local files. Now open the union folder binaries win64. Make a block click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time you can try Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, Still not working. You can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply. Click on OK. And then go back. Again back. Make a right click on the first exe file. Run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you are using Windows security, go to privacy and security, Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browse all apps. Open this union binaries main64. Select this exe file. Click on open. And now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again. Open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app browse and then open union binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open, click on add.
in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have any other antivirus program like avas norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow all the to all uh, both the exe file to your antivirus program next is to verify the game file now for this you can go to steam make a in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working if you have nvidia app you can try to launch the game from nvidia app so if you go to home if you find the game over here uh, i don't have the game over here you can ignore this if you don't have the game here. next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app go to go to the game installation folder and then again open the game folder union binaries min64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list scroll down click on the game select high performance over here now you can launch the game still not working disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on relaunch the game and then check if this is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then check now the next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case when you select your graphic card your operating system on this page click on view more version and you, you can maybe you can try the previous versions and then um, but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart it immediately and then launch the game next step is to try power saver mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on hardware and sound go to power options now over here i have only balanced but if you see power saver over here select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link in a browser it will take uh, you can search in google install visual c++ file and then go to microsoft website and here you can see visual files you have to download this x86 and x64 click on x86 run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart you can after the system restart launch the game still not working the next is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it if you have extra controller connected disconnect extra controller if you have key chrome keyboard connected disconnect external keyboard disable or enable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right in the game go to properties if steam enable is like enable steam overlay while in game if this is on <coughs> turn it off and then you can relaunch the game if this is already off you can turn it on and then check try both on and off if you have any other overlay application like discord running, running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reva tuner if close all the third party application and services on your computer and then check also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel